90% of people who were surveyed said they wanted to see it again. So here we are, back in Keel Square with an ice rink for this year. The whole Frost Village themes here, we've got a bigger and even better bar this year. Um, we've got Marquee on site as well, which will have stalls in over the weekend so that you can come in no matter what the weather and still um, shop from the craft and gift stalls. We didn't have that last year, so we we're utilising a bit more of the space on Keel Square. And in addition, we've got Christmas movies this year for the Frost Village, which will be on Saturday and Sunday mornings. Sit on the deck chairs, grab a hot chocolate from the bar. We'll have some blankets that you can wrap up. So if ice skating's not your thing, you can still come down and take part in the festivities. And we've got some real classic films on the screen. We've got Home Alone. Um, which is everyone's favourite Christmas movie. We've got White Christmas, so we can hog back to the past. Um, we've also got um, Frozen on Christmas Eve, which should be a spectacular event. Sunderland Bid, our job is to bring people into the city centre and having an attraction like this will does definitely bring people in over the Christmas period. Those that might have gone elsewhere for this kind of experience can now find it on their doorstep. Free parking from three, the shops are open late on a Thursday night so you'll be able to come down, see the ice show and then go off and do a spot of shopping. There's also lots of events that are taking place in the city centre that will feed into this area. So we've got the um, Hawaiian Manger Parade that will be coming down with a lot of carol singing. There's the Carol Conga which will go through the city centre and end up in Keel Square. There's lots of stuff going on in Park Lane as well and markets happening across the city centre. So Sunderland really is going to be packed full of things to do, market stores and great shopping.